Throughout time, people across the world told each other tales of how they came to be, of heroes and monsters, romance and tragedy, death and rebirth. Mythology helped shape the ancient world, explaining the unexplainable. This is Mythology Unleashed. While gods of creation, of death, of the sky, and of war find themselves to be the center of attention in both stories of mythology and in popular culture, arguably the gods of wisdom and knowledge are among the most important for both individuals and for society as a whole. The ancient Egyptians knew this well and worshipped the god Toth. Toth was the god of the moon, wisdom, learning, sacred texts, mathematics, science, magic, as well as a messenger and recorder of the Pantheon, a master of knowledge, and the patron god of scribes. Often depicted in art as a man with the head of an ibis, or occasionally as an ibis or even as a baboon, Toth is often shown holding a scribe's palette and stylus but was also depicted carrying an ankh in one hand, representing life, and a scepter, representing power, in the other. Upon his head, Toth sometimes wore a crescent moon, but was also depicted wearing the Atef crown, and the double crown of Upper and Lower Egypt. Toth was one of the earliest Egyptian gods, widely revered throughout Egypt, particularly Hermopolis Magna, where he was worshipped as part of the Ogdoad. Such was the power of his cult, the story was rewritten to make Toth the creator god, where he created himself through the power of language, and he subsequently laid an egg from which Ra and the universe as we know it was born. Although Osiris and Isis were generally credited with bringing civilization to mankind, Toth was believed to have gifted humanity with writing, medicine, magic, and the societal and religious practices of Egypt. He was the scribe of the afterlife, and would record the verdict of the deceased in the Hall of Mat. From this role, he was gifted the epithets, He Who Balances, God of the Equilibrium, and Master of the Balance. Along with being the scribe of the gods, he was often described as acting as a counselor of Ra, even standing on the sun barge next to Ra on his nightly voyage across the sky. In the many stories of Egyptian mythology, Toth is rarely, if ever, the main character. Rather, he is a guiding force, his wisdom and nigh-endless knowledge averting catastrophes and returning the world to balance. In the tale of Osiris, he gave Isis the incantation in order to resurrect Osiris after he was brutally murdered by his brother Set. Toth would also go on to save Horus, the son of Isis and Osiris, by driving a magical poison from his body, and he had supported him in his fight against Set to gain the throne which was rightfully his. As Toth was associated with writing and with the moon, it is of no surprise that he was also linked to the creation of the lunar calendar, which governed many of Egypt's civil and religious practices. Toth was thought to be the inventor of the 365-day calendar, which replaced the inaccurate 360-day calendar. According to the myth, he acquired the additional five days by gambling with the moon god Khonshu in a game of dice in order to help the goddess Nut. Nut was impregnated by her husband Geb, but Ra forbade her to give birth on any day of the Egyptian calendar. Toth won the game, and his prize was a portion of light from the moon, which equated to five new days, and Nut gave birth to Osiris, Horus the Elder, Set, Isis, and Nephthys on those added days. 
Toth was also known to be an efficient counselor and persuasive speaker, shown when he convinced Sekhmet to return home when she left Egypt for Nubia. According to the story, Sekhmet was sent down to Egypt to quell a rebellion against Ra. After slaughtering Ra's enemies, her bloodlust grew to a point where Ra had to trick her in order to stop her from slaying every human being on Earth. Feeling betrayed, Sekhmet fled Egypt for Nubia, and the world grew dark and imbalanced. Toth, disguised as a baboon, eventually found her and told her that Egypt missed her terribly and that the whole of the land was suffering in her absence. After appealing to Sekhmet's nurturing side, along with the promises of honors and celebrations, Toth succeeded in returning Sekhmet to Egypt, once again restoring balance to the universe. Egyptian mythology also tells of a mystical tome, dubbed the Book of Toth, in which the god inscribed all of the secrets of the universe. Were anyone to read it, they would unlock power and magic beyond one's wildest dreams. But they would in turn be cursed by the newfound knowledge, paralyzing their senses and driving them mad. Yet despite the likelihood of losing their mind, many Tomb Raiders and overzealous archaeologists have hungrily sought after this fabled book, but to no avail. While Toth may never have gained the modern popularity that other Egyptian gods like Anubis have received, his importance to ancient Egyptian culture cannot be understated. Without him, both the mortal and immortal worlds would be in utter chaos, an idea that was truly nightmarish at the time. Language, writing, math and science, magic, religious practice, and philosophical thought were all attributed to him. Through Toth, Egypt and its vast pantheon of gods would gain an astute teacher, a wise counselor, and a powerful sorcerer who would document the comings and goings of the living and the deceased, and who kept the secrets of the universe safely under his wing.